For today's money makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create this look. Now, a couple of things to note about this particular look is one, I kept falling asleep while I was filming this, so it's not my best work. The second thing is that this look is inspired by Bailey Sarian. I don't listen to a lot of Bailey Sarian's videos because they make me really upset, but I love watching her techniques and watching how she applies her makeup. So this look was a very toned down version of a look that she wore on her channel. Hers was a lot more creative. She had rhinestones. It was just effortless and beautiful and I absolutely loved it, but I kept falling asleep during this, so I never got to go that far, but hopefully Hopefully you'll find that this is a little bit more wearable perhaps. Oh, and the last thing I have to say is it's pouring with rain and it's thunderstorms outside. So if you can hear that, I am sorry. I just really need to get this video done. But let's get started creating this look. So I already started by priming my eyelids and now we're going to use the first shade, which is Blast. It's a peachy tone and we're going to be applying this into the crease of the eye using a blending brush. So this is going to create some framework. Think of it as kind of like your transition shade, your mid-tone, sort of your framework for the rest of the look. Now I had to use a deep brown because this palette doesn't have one. So I used the Urban Decay Wild West. Very similar shades in this palette. So if you have this one, you can kind of use this one instead, but choose any deep brown that you really like. I just absolutely love this deep brown. It's my favorite. I just applied this in a V shape on the outer edge and underneath the eye as well. Using a flat brush will just give you a little bit more control because I really want to press on this deep brown. Once you have that on there, you're then going to take the same blending brush that you were using before and just soften out any harsh lines. And this is when I started to fall asleep. I was really struggling to keep my eyes open while I was filming this. For the next step, we're going to take the yellow and we're just going to use a very small amount of the yellow to fade the edges. This is what I refer to as a fade shade. Basically a fade shade creates a soft kind of blended finish. It creates that kind of pro finish as if you've layered multiple products together when really you've just used a small amount of product just around the edges. I then mixed up the two bronzy shades and just applied this on the rest of the lid. Then I wanted to kind of deepen this a bit more. So I added a layer of black and then the brown over the top. By making sure I have a darker base underneath, it just helped the brown look a little deeper while also keeping it in that kind of browny warm tone. And now for the inner corner, we're going to pop on that blue. Here's when I actually yawned so much, I ended up smudging my mascara all over my face, so just ignore that and carry on. You want to kind of layer this up, sometimes by applying a little bit of a lighter shade underneath, it can actually help to brighten and add a little bit more of a pop to your shadows. So if you feel like your blue isn't showing up really well, you can apply the lighter shade from this palette. Just apply that either over the top of what you've already applied, or just apply a little bit of it first and then go in with the blue. I then just cleaned up underneath my eyes, applied more mascara and some lashes, and that is the finished look. I really hope that you guys will try this one out. It's a great one to do at the end of the day. Before you take your makeup off, just grab any color that you like, apply it to the inner corner, and see how you feel. Because I actually felt very inspired. Felt like, okay, I can create so many other looks. I should experiment with loads of different things. And sometimes that's just what you need to do to kickstart your creativity. So give it a try. Definitely let me know if you do apply a different color on in the inner corner, what colors do you actually prefer? Blue seemed to be the shade that a lot of you were requesting. So I hope that this works out for you. I hope that you will give it a try. And as always, my friends, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I am going to go for a rest now. It's pouring with rain. It's a thunderstorm outside. And I just want to get all cozy and take a rest. So I hope that you have a good week and I will see you guys in a video really soon.